This particular H2 has a pewter metallic exterior and you have a wheat leather interior. Uh, in 03, uh, these H2s were built based on pretty much the popularity of the H1. Um, since the H1 cost over 100000 new, they made one at a little better price point. I think the base price on these were only a little over 50000 uh, this particular H2 has a few extra items on it. See, now you got a nice uh, chrome grill guard there. This one does have some aftermarket, uh, really nice 20 inch chrome wheels. You can see they're all in great shape. Uh, the tires as well, 305s, and you can see the tread is excellent. I'd say it's at least 80% there, so that's always a big plus. Got some side steps. This one also does have a nice chrome roof rack. Uh, gives it a real uh, rugged look. And this pewter actually looks pretty good in these. You can see the paint on this one, excellent. This one does have a nice tint on it. A little bit of close up of the back here. Rear bumper, very clean there. Passenger side follows suit. Take a quick look here at your front seats. This is their uh, what they call the color wheat. Uh, it's really it's like kind of a gray, but the leather's in pretty good shape, or as you expect from an almost a ten-year-old vehicle. Quick look at your rear seating areas. Again, uh, leather back here, pretty good shape. So it does have the optional uh, seat in the back there. And you do have your spare tire sitting right next to it. You can fit one extra person right there in the back. This one also does have a rear entertainment system. Nice big screen there. And the DVD player is right there uh, on your center console. hear that uh, V8 fires up nice and easy. Um, these are your Hummer gauges. Uh, you know, pretty simple setup here. Um, you know, this is a, a GM car, so their gauges are, are pretty close. Uh, they went a little bit um, different here on the H2 gauges, but pretty much based, same basic setup. You know, you got your uh, temperature, gas gauge, oil, like electric, uh, basic. Uh, the miles here, you can look at uh, right about a little over 105. We'll take a look at some of the features inside this H2. Uh, right here on the door, uh, you can get your power windows, locks, mirrors, obviously a standard. This one does have your uh, heated seats. Uh, you got front and reheated seats on this one. Uh, so if you know, if you're familiar with the uh, GMC Denali or the Escalade, uh, pretty much same amenities uh, as one of those. You have your nice uh, Bose sound system. Sounds excellent. Come right here in the middle, got a nice uh, multifunction steering wheel. Again, uh, same exact steering wheel you'll find on a, uh, a Tahoe uh, or a Denali. And there's your four-wheel drive control. Uh, the uh, four-wheel drive is set up for 60% of the power in the uh, rear, where you can also set up for 50-50 if you'd like. Uh, again, basic controls here. Um, single disc, uh, in-dash CD player. It's your standard uh, sound system here. Everything here should look familiar. Uh, looks like, just again, just like a Tahoe or Denali. This is your four-speed automatic transmission. Got some nice cup holders, and of course, right in the middle here, a nice, uh, huge, uh, storage in between the two seats because this vehicle is uh, definitely wide. But uh, you know, pretty good uh, little dash here. Uh, I think they did a good job redesigning it. Even though it is, uh, you know, your basic GM interior, uh, they did do a little uh, few differences here and there to, to make it unique to a Hummer. Uh, right here under the hood, you're going to find the uh, six-liter V8 Vortec engine here. Uh, it's going to be 325 horsepower, uh, 385 pound-feet of torque. Um, you know, again, same exact engine you'll find in the Yukon Denali. 
Um, you know, pretty good torque there, uh, pretty good get up and go uh, for a vehicle that weighs 6,400 pounds. Uh, it moves pretty well. Uh, 7,000 pound towing capacity and the blistering 0 to 60 time of 10.2 seconds. So uh, yeah, hold on for that acceleration. But anyways, a uh, very solid engine. They use it in a lot of their vehicles. Uh, very reliable. I uh, just wanted to let you know you can go right over to our website if you had any further interest in this Hummer uh, or anything else in my inventory. Uh, that's eDirectMotors.com. Uh, you'll find full pricing, specs, info, uh, a ton of high quality detailed pictures there, uh, section by section. Uh, very informative. You just want to know uh, just basic information about any of our vehicles uh, right there at the website, one click away, eDirectMotors.com.